Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about using cluster sets for muscle mass. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If you need coaching, check out the link down below. I'd like to work with you. And I have a new cluster set workout link down below called Massive Cluster FCK. All right, so let's talk about cluster sets. They aren't talked about often. Back in the days when I worked for Muscle and Strength, around 2010, I think I put out a workout that involved cluster sets. That was pretty much the last time I really talked about them, maybe 13 years ago. Now in this video, I'm going to get into what cluster sets are, how they differ from rest pause sets, and where they fall on the spectrum when it compares to standard sets. Now when it comes to training, there's three basic types of ways you can train. And this is a super dumbed down simplification. You have standard sets or conventional sets, which are like three sets of 10 reps or two sets of 15 reps, just basic standard conventional hypertrophy work. Rest in between sets on these are basically intuitive. You rest until you feel mentally and physically ready to go again. When people ask me about resting in between sets, I say, keep it simple. When you feel physically and mentally ready to go again, go. The focus on conventional or standard sets is to maximize the set. We want to get as much as we can out of the set. So we want to feel physically and mentally ready to go. Our focus is on hard training or maximizing hard training, not trying to micromanage rest periods. Now, there is certainly no downside to having a structured rest period for, say, squats or bench press or cable tricep extensions or whatever exercise you're talking about. You can do that. That's fine. But all, the focus should always be on hard training. What is going to service hard training? In the gym, we want to focus on training hard. We want to focus on what we can do to maximize our training to train hard while focusing on progressive overload or improving the challenge a little bit over the course of time. Now on the spectrum, standard sets are at the far end of the spectrum. And at the far opposite end of the spectrum, you have rest pause sets. With rest pause sets, we have a very tight rest restriction. What we're trying to do here is push a set as hard as we can, not necessarily to failure, but for as many quality reps as possible. We want to crush those muscles, and before they have a chance to recover, we rest just briefly and we attack again. This is the heart of rest pause. You attack, rest briefly, attack, and beat that muscle or muscle groups before they have a chance to fully recover. I utilize in the massive iron world something called the bulldozer system, where basically you hit a lift, rest about 10 to 15 seconds, then you hit it again, rest 10 to 15 seconds, and you repeat for five mini sets. You can boil this down to four mini sets if you want. It's just a general structure. Now, people will ask me, why do you do this? Why do you do rest pause training? Well, what happens is a rest pause bulldozer protocol will produce about the same number of reps as a conventional sets and rep scheme. But what you're doing is you're increasing the average rep intensity because you're not letting a muscle or group of muscles fully recover. You're hitting them hard when they are down. So the average rep intensity is going to increase. On a standard set, you might not feel a set getting really difficult till say rep six or seven, then rep eight, nine, and 10 might be a really big grind. But on a rest pause scheme, your first kind of set, it's going to be the same thing. But because you're hitting that muscle group while it's down and not letting it fully recover, you're going to increase the rep intensity after the initial push, if that makes sense. So on our spectrum, we have conventional work and we have rest pause work at the opposite ends of the spectrum. And cluster set work is somewhere in the middle, depending on how you structure it. So standard sets, we're focused on hard training. We're focused on progressive overload. Rest pause work, we're focused on trying to increase the average rep intensity by really restricting rest. 
And with cluster sets, what we're going to do, and I'll explain what cluster sets are in a minute, but what we're going to do is we're going to use tighter rest periods, but not super tight like rest pause. We're going to use a very structured routine rest between sets. And we're going to do a cluster of sets. It can be five sets, six sets, seven sets, eight sets, or even 10 sets like German volume training. What cluster training does is it increases a number of reps over a period of time. We're working on training density. We're working on rep density, doing more reps over a defined period of time. And this is a great way to improve workout intensity while also working on our work capacity. Now understand, whatever we do, standard sets, rest, pause, or cluster training, our focus is on hard training. We want to focus on hard training, making that workout as hard as possible. This is the key when it comes to hypertrophy, hard training and progressive overload. So don't become obsessed with one of these met methods, don't elevate one of them as the be all end all that you must do. That's simply not the case. Rest pause and cluster sets are tools that you can use to increase intensity. Rest pause, we're increasing rep intensity and cluster training, we're increasing density or work capacity. Now let's talk about what exactly is a cluster set. Threes, fours, fives, six, eights, or even tens like German volume training. It doesn't really matter. And depending on the exercise you're going to use, you want to define a rest between each set in the cluster set. So let's say you're doing a six by six cluster on the bench press. We have to be reasonable and ask ourselves, what's a quality rep between each cluster? What's going to allow us to rack the weight, catch our breath, get back under and perform another six? We want to get through the cluster being able to do all the sets and all the reps. So on a cluster of six by six bench, let's say we go with 45 seconds between each set. So we'd have six sets, six reps, and a 45 second rest in between each set. So this is how a cluster set is structured. Let's say you want to do cable tricep extensions. You could do eight by eight or six by 10, six sets of 10 reps or eight sets of eight reps. And because it's more of an isolation style exercise, you could really restrict rest in between sets, 15, 20, 25 seconds, doesn't really matter. You have to pick what works for you. And again, we wanna make sure we can get through all the sets and all the reps. If you can't, you're probably a little bit too aggressive on rest in between sets, it's too tight, or a little bit too aggressive on the weight you are using. So feel free to dial in the rest between sets and the weight you are using. Now on a cluster protocol, you're gonna ask, how do I rest? What I typically recommend is pushing the last set of a cluster for maximum safe reps. And if you're one or two over the goal, say you're doing six by six on the bench press and you hit seven or eight or even nine on the last set, then it's time to bump that weight by five pounds. So keep in mind, again, there are many ways to implement all of these things, standard sets, rest, pause, or cluster. And always remember there's a spectrum. The more you restrict rest between cluster sets, the more it becomes straight rest, pause, work. Now by restricting rest in between cluster sets, you're gonna be able to perform fewer and fewer reps. And again, this is going to reduce the overall volume. So neither way is magic, cluster or rest, pause but cluster tends to involve a little bit more volume and a little bit more focus on work capacity. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, guys, follow me on Instagram at Ben the Barman, or please join TeamMassiveIron.com. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.